Hey guys, namaste to everyone. This is Preeti here and I'm a freelance makeup artist. So with every makeup tutorial, I come up with some new tips and tricks. So this is the look I'll be creating this time. And the trick is that I created this eye look with a lipstick. Yes, a lipstick. You can use any lipstick of your choice. So let's not waste much time and get straight to the makeup tutorial. So to start with makeup, you should always remember one basic rule of makeup that is CTM, that is cleansing, toning and moisturizing. So for cleaning, I'm using here a micellar oil free water. In my previous video, I have already explained why I haven't used a oily uh, micellar water. If you haven't watched, I will link it down in the description box. After cleaning, I'm using a toner. If your skin is very sensitive, you can also use a rose water for toning. So I do not like to waste my stuff, my products, so whatever is left on, on the wipes, I'm going to rub it on my hands. So now to moisturize my lips, I'm using a lip balm. Once I'm done with the toning, I'm going to moisturize my face. I'm using a hydrating uh, moisturizer. This will hydrate my face. So now I'm using a cream moisturizer. Now you must be wondering why am I using two creams on my face. Now the, uh, the idea behind using two creams to moisturize on the face is because earlier I have used a hydration moisturizer. Now to balance that hydration I am using a cream moisturizer. And this moisturizer also works as a good uh, primer. So uh, I am going to skip a primer for this tutorial. So I am done with, the, with my brows. Now I am uh, starting with my eye base. So for my eye base I am using a concealer which is two shades lighter from my original skin shade and um, to blend this I'm using a Weishi beauty blender which is a mini beauty blender and I'm going to blend this very well into my skin to make my eyeshadow look more prominent I'm using a lipstick oil and I'm using a, an orange lipstick which is a moisturizing lipstick I'm not using a matte lipstick because it dries fast so I'm using a moisturizing lipstick because it will be easier for me to blend this. Now to blend this lipstick, I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend everything into my uh, eyelids. So if you don't have fluffy brush or a blending brush, you can also use your fingers to blend your lipstick. Now I'm going to use a uh, eyeshadow which is orange in shade and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids using a flat brush. Just remember here I'm just packing the eyeshadow. Uh, I'm not using, I'm not blending anything over here. Now to blend this orange eyeshadow, I'm using this brown eyeshadow uh, and I'm taking it, it on a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend my eyeshadow very nicely. Just make sure that there are no harsh lines. Now using same palette, I'm picking up this white eyeshadow in a flat brush and I'm going to place it on my half portion of my eyelids. Once I'm done placing white eyeshadow, I'm going to blend it with the orange eyeshadow and also I'm going to blend this white eyeshadow using a same brown shade that I've applied earlier. As you can see, I have a lot of uh, pigmentation, so to hide or to minimize this, I'm using a orange corrector. You can also use a concealer, which is two shades darker from your skin. So to blend this, I'm using a wet beauty blender. And if you do not have a beauty blender, you can also use a foundation brush. You don't even have a foundation brush or a concealer brush. You can also use your fingers using a pat motion. So 
so for this look I'll be using two foundations so first I'm using a Huda Beauty foundation uh, for the shade please check the description box or I'm going to mention it somewhere on the screen and the second foundation that I'm I'll be using is I'll be mixing is uh, forever 52 and uh, to make my base look more flawless or to make it look more glowy I'm going to mix, mix a Inglot Dura line uh, I would suggest not to use any other oil or any other essential oil otherwise your foundation will start oxidizing once you have done all your makeup so uh, once I'm done placing it on my face I'm going to use my beauty blender I'm going to blend it nicely into my skin Now for highlighting, I'm using LA Girl Pro HD Concealer and I'm going to use it on my tear ducts. So I'm just placing it on near my tear ducts and on the ends of my um, eyes. Also, I'm going to place it on my forehead, on my bridge of my nose, on my cupid bow, on my chin and also on the hollow of my cheeks. For the cream contour, I'm using LA Girl HD Pro Concealer and I'm going to place it on my hollows of my cheeks, on my chin. As you can see, I have a round face and I do have, I do have a double chin and I really need to hide this. So once I'm done applying it, I'm going to blend it nicely into my skin. So for the blusher, I'm using a lipstick as I don't have a cream blusher. So I'm using a red shade lipstick and I'm going to apply it directly onto my skin and blend it with my beauty blender. Now for highlighting, I'm using another high cream highlighter which I'm going to place it on my high points of my face and I'm going to blend it nicely with a beauty blender or you can also blend it with your fingers. To set my concealer, cream concealer, I'm using a Makeup Revolution a Banana Shade Powder and I'm using a mini blender which I have used earlier for blending my concealer and for setting my cream contour, I'm using a powder contour from my favorite palette Tarte Cosmetics. For my blusher, I'm using my favorite palette which is from uh, Tarte Cosmetics and I'm going to mix two shades of blush and I'm going to place it on my cheeks. To set my face, I'm using Kiko Milano um, uh, setting spray and I'm going to use it all over my face. And there is also one trick that before using a powder highlighter uh, to make it more prominent you can you should use a setting spray before applying highlighter powder highlighter so for this look i'll also be using a uh, fake eyelashes which is from some local brand i don't know which brand it is but uh, uh, the box says mac which is not actual mac because this 
uh, this is for somewhere around 100 rupees I like this eyelashes because it gives a very natural finish natural look so now here I'm using a sketch pen eyeliner and here I'm just winging out my uh, liner on the inner side of my eyelids most of the people just forget to apply eyeshadow on their lower eyelids so here I'm using a green eyeshadow on my lower eyelids and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids and then I'm going to blend this using a yellow eyeshadow so uh, application of uh, eyeshadow on your lower eyelids is also very important otherwise it will look very uh, incomplete look now here I'm using my favorite mascara from forever 52 and I'm going to apply it on my uh, both the uh, eyelashes that is on my upper lashes and also on my lower lashes if you're not a fan of using a uh, fake eyelashes you can also uh, skip that part and can apply a lot of mascara on your lashes now to fix my makeup I'm using a MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation and I'm going to apply it all over my face if you do not have this you can also best is you, you can also use a translucent powder and you can apply it all over your face for my lipstick I'm using Makeup Forever lipstick and I'm going to mention the shade on the disc description box or somewhere on the screen and then I'm also going to mix this uh, lipstick with a liquid lipstick which is from balm I somehow love balm lipstick liquid lipstick because it has those that minty type of um, taste and I just love that taste now I'm going to outline my lipstick because I'm a very messy one and I always um, mess up with my lipsticks so I always outline my lips last so that whatever mistakes I've done I can hide all those mistakes with while using a pencil lipstick at last so at last I'm using here a golden eyeshadow on my brow bone area and also I'm also going to apply it on my inner corners of my eyes Now to fix all that hard work that, I've, that we have done on, our, on my face, I'm using a Kiko Milano fixing spray and yeah, that's the finished look. So I hope you love this look and I hope you are liking my videos, my tips and tricks and I'm, I hope you are following my, following, following my other tutorials as well. So please do not forget to like, subscribe and share to my channel. So love you all. Bye-bye.